Well, I guess we got to do it a little differently today. Okay. Sorry for that, folks. It looks like this phone is acting up today. So. It actually looks better that way. Does it look better that way? But I'm going to be looking uh, up or I don't know where. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. So we'll do it this way, friends. We'll see. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, we are very alive on a Wednesday morning. Uh, hmm? It looks like... Okay, so today we're going to uh, read... Also, uh, today the Gospel is from, is from St. Matthew. So we went from St. Luke to reading the Gospel of St. Matthew. Okay. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Sorry, rest for yourselves. <laughs> my yoke is easy and my burden light. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened. And I will give you rest. So, our Lord is the great comforter, the great consoler. And He is giving us an invitation in, uh, through this gospel. He is inviting us to precisely take advantage of that. To go to Him for consolation, for comfort. Every time we feel burdened. Every time we feel stressed, every time we feel like we are undergoing some uh, difficult times, right? And that sounds like now. <laughs> that sounds like now for some of you who are uh, trying to meet uh, uh, deadlines to finish off the semester uh, before the year ends. Uh, of course, I'm speaking here of uh, some of my kids who are uh, trying to rush their school work because uh, they just got how many? About ten days to go before they before they end the semester, and they're all uh, stressed out practically, trying to um, trying to work out uh, you know all of their school requirements. Of course, um, let's put that into context. We homeschool our kids. But uh, but uh, those who are already in high school are at the same time doing their junior college work. And so um, it's doing uh, uh, two things at the same time, shooting two birds uh, with one stone. So that adds up to the stress uh, of the work that they have to do. And uh, so their college work uh, is finishing up in 10 days. And, and so is uh, high school. That's right. Some of the high school... Um, oh, today? Okay. So anyway, there has been plenty of stress in this household this past days. And, um, and uh, so this, this uh, gospel today comes at a very uh, opportune time where we realize that we have burdens. Each of us have burdens. Each of us have stresses in life. And you know how, um, especially here in the United States, stress is a very big factor uh, people don't know how to cope with stress. <laughs> and here there are so many programs about how to cope with stress, right? From, uh, from yoga to uh, meditation to uh, all sorts of things that people uh, undertake and people do in order to cope with stress, in order to relieve themselves of stress. I have one secret how I relieve myself of so much stress because I am, I have so much stress. But uh, my only secret is to go to Jesus. To go to Jesus because of this promise of Jesus right here. Hey, come to me, all who are burdened, all you who labor, all you who work hard, all you who... Uh, uh, work hard to eke out a living. All you who work hard to uh, 
to study all you who work hard in the vineyard of the Lord and try to do uh, apostolate and try to uh, bring people close to God and uh, and try to give good example that's a lot of work and try to uh, 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 be a good example to other people beginning from the home for a good example to your spouse a good example to your brothers and sisters a good example to people around you that takes a lot of work that it can be very stressful and when we try to become saints and when we try to live up to the virtues and try to practice all the virtues uh, very well that is very stressful that is a very stressful uh, thing to do and that is in fact the context uh, largely uh, of the invitation of jesus when you if you feel burdened uh, trying to become a saint when you feel burdened in working in my vineyard and trying to uh, cultivate and till the soil of the apostolate and try to sow uh, seeds um, uh, in this field. It can be stressful. It can be disappointing. It can be discouraging, right? And we have been commenting a lot about those things, about how discouraged we could get, how disappointed we can get, um, uh, you know, just listening to uh, priests who don't uh, prepare their homilies very well, right? Or uh, when we have to battle against uh, uh, people who uh, fight uh, the faith in one way or another. Or when we try to educate people who don't seem to understand the demands of our Catholic faith. And, uh, and they cause us uh, all sorts of trouble. <laughs> uh, these are the kinds of stresses that life brings us, br brings to a... To a Catholic person, to a, to a Catholic son of God uh, and, and daughter of God who tries to live up to the faith and the demands of the faith uh, as faithfully as he or she can. And on top of that, we have concerns of, our, of a professional nature. We have all our work to do. We have our family situations to, uh, to uh, take care of. We have uh, sicknesses and um, and uh, as we are going through these uh, days of Advent and these months, uh, we have plenty of sicknesses we, we are also um, dealing with in our families and among our friends. So many people in the hospital, so many people uh, undergoing surgery, so many people that we know of are suffering in, uh, in their beds. Uh, all of these things, all of these things are burdens, all of these things are stresses, all of these things can bring us down. All of these things can uh, not only disappoint, but depress us. And, uh, and they're all very real. They're all very true. Well, there is comfort. There is consolation in Jesus Christ. Jesus is inviting every one of us. Come to me. Come to me. All you who are burdened, come to me and I will give you rest. I am your consolation, he tells us. Learn from me. My yoke is easy. My burden light. The truth of the matter is, what is this burden? What is this yoke that our Lord is talking about? It's, it's what he gives us to do. It is, it is not only the yoke of, uh, of the apostolate, not only the yoke of carrying a uh, uh, our duties every day, uh, which of course all uh, come from our vocational calling, right? From our vocation. Yesterday we were talking about our vocation. Uh, all of these burdens, if we, if they are burdens that are a product or a fruit of vocation, <coughs> eh, the calling that God has given us in the world, then that is the yoke of Jesus. That is the yoke that Jesus has put on our shoulders. The responsibilities of the vocation. That, uh, the responsibilities that come with the vocation that God has given us. See? Our, our uh, parental duties, our marital duties, our uh, professional work, our studies, uh, our um, uh, ministry in the church, etc., etc. All of these things are the uh, burdens, quote-unquote burdens, that come with our vocation. And these things come from God. So if you feel stressed and burdened because of those things, then Jesus is telling us, you know, all of those things are really, in the end, they're not burdens. In the end, they're not difficult. If, if you come to me, see, if you come to me. So what is our Lord telling us? 
let us not rely only on ourselves. Let us not rely on our own strengths alone to carry out our vocational uh, demands. Let us not rely on our, on our excellence. See? Because if that is all that we rely on, we will feel stressed. We will feel heavily burdened. We are going to be depressed with the disappointments that we get out of fighting it out on our own strengths alone, on the basis of our own excellence alone. See? Jesus is telling us here, don't, don't go it alone. Bring me along with you. In fact, throw it all on me. Throw it, throw it all on me. Let me carry that burden for you. Let me be the one to carry it for you. Throw it on me. Come, come, come to me. Come to me. Throw it to me. Let me carry it for you. Because in the first place, I gave it to you. So I gave it to you in order for you to have a part, to have a part in this, in this work that I am doing, which is the salvation of souls. Right? So Jesus is just passing on a little bit, a little piece of that burden to us. Uh, and, and if we feel like it's heavy, we cannot carry it. Well, let's complain to Jesus. Complain nicely to Jesus and tell him, Look, Lord, I, I, I think it's hard. I think, I think I cannot rely on my own strength here. I think I need your grace. I think I need your help. Okay? So let us always run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. And every time we feel that stress, every time we feel the difficulties of everyday life, let's pause. Let's pause. Pause and pray. Pause and pray. And you can do that all throughout the day. We were just talking earlier, right? Before we even started this. We were just talking about, you know, we get so stressed looking at that computer the whole day because, well, that's how uh, education is delivered nowadays. It's all on the computer. So my kids are all online the whole day practically. So we were just trying to give them some tips today and telling them, well, you got to rest a little bit. And every hour, you try to get out of that screen, do some exercises and roll your eyes, roll your neck and uh, exercise. Well, the same thing is true with the burdens that we encounter in everyday life in our vocation. Let's pause. Pause and talk to Jesus. Pause and tell Jesus, Help me here. Help me solve this problem. Help me uh, think about this, uh, this, this problem or this concern correctly. What is it that you want me to do about these things? Consult him. Consult him. And, and throw that burden back to Jesus. And, and you can do that many times during the day. Many times during the day. Even the slightest... Uh, even to, even in the slightest of uh, of difficulties, or does, it doesn't even have to be a difficulty. It can be on anything you're thinking about, anything you're considering, anything that you are uh, just thinking. Ask Jesus. Throw it to Jesus. Consult Him and and go go through it with Jesus. That way, that way, you know, you will relieve yourself of those burdens and with that kind of disposition folks stress uh, the stresses that all of these things bring us become very bearable they become very bearable because we course it through jesus christ there's no reason for us to be very disappointed or very depressed to the point where some people even commit suicide well i'm not you know Maybe some of those people have a, a, a real psychological problem to begin with. That's why they go that that far. But all of those things can be uh, can be helped if only they learned, or you and I learn to go to Jesus more. Okay? Come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Okay, that's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. And for those of you who are in different parts of the world, like Henry. Hi, Henry. Digoy. How are you? These are my friends from the Philippines. Have a good night's sleep. Okay? I don't know how this video appeared. We, my phone was, uh, was reacting today. It wouldn't rotate. I hope, I hope, I hope uh, it came out well. Okay. We're off to Mass, friends. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.
Okay, now we are going to put that off. 